Fury was in uh, with the breakfast gang this morning and he talked about the prospect of fighting Usyk. Usyk was offered the fight instead of Derek Chisora for December and they said no. So they said, oh, we're going to wait till next year. So we'll see. We'll see how good the man's word is. Yeah. He, mm. He's been undisputed cruiserweight champion. He's fought Joshua twice. I think he's had, what, four fights heavyweight now? So, yeah, we'll see. I think I think he's willing. He looks willing. I would like to think that there's not a man born yet that can beat me in my own era, for sure. But, you know, you can never underestimate anybody. I trained so hard for Derek, even though I've beaten him twice before. Mm. I put a nine-week camp in. I was, um, I was celibate for, for seven weeks for Derek Chisora. That's how much I respected him as an opponent. And I trained really hard for him. And it was like, everyone was saying, well, you've already beat the guy. Why are you doing all this sacrifice? I'm like, I'm making sure that he don't beat me in the third one. So even though that I'm a lot taller than this guy and I outweigh him by two or three stone, I would give him the utmost respect as, as a, a proper opponent for me. OK, well, Simon, I'm delighted to say we can bring a bit more detail to this this morning because uh, earlier on, we spoke to Usyk's manager, Igis Klimas. Um, he's over in Los Angeles. We got to him and I said to him straight, can we take it, Igis, that this fight is now very much on? Yes, Jim, definitely. We've been in negotiation even before the fight. That's why we showed up to the fight. We were invited. We were treated very nice by the Queensboro. Amazing, amazing fans in the UK. We love UK fans. I couldn't believe that somebody told me what well, the fight is going to be in a stadium December 3 in London. I was flipped out. And I said, they, they're not going to get, get the people. And 60,000 people were sold atmosphere in our stadium it was amazing and i mean we've been talking to Queensboro promotions about the that fight before i am talking with the top rank as we speak this morning we had a conference call all of us uh, got together and uh, we are almost done i wanted to say it's not much to talk two heavyweights best in the sports today undisputed heavyweight championship bout that's what people need. That's what the fans need. So where and when? Uh, most likely, it's going to be no later than March 4th. And uh, it most likely, it will end up in the Middle East, I want to say. But during today conversation, I heard the other options are coming, like uh, maybe again, London Stadium, Qatar most likely, we're aiming for Saudi because I know Saudi is very interested in that fight. Saudi loves Usyk. I mean, Usyk is a huge, huge big fan in the UK as well. I mean, Igus, you said you were so impressed by what you saw on Saturday night here in December in London. Surely Usyk and Fury owe it to the UK fight fans to have it in the UK, to have it in London. Yes, of course. That would be, that would be a deal. But from a management point and a financial point, I think today Mideast is, you know, much, much bigger. It's not a long travel. It's like a four hours. It's also very nice when you have an opportunity to go aboard of your country to support being a fan of your athlete, and then you're visiting other country. Maybe some of the people, let's say some of the fans, they never gonna have a chance to go to Saudi Arabia to see what's going on around the, around the world. But here you go. Igis, from cruiserweight to the heavyweight division, how would you describe the trajectory, the journey of Usyk in recent years? Well, for me, it would be very hard to describe it because I know Usyk. I knew what the goal is from the first day. He stepped in a professional ring. I knew he wanted to become the fastest cruiserweight champion. I knew he's going to go to the heavyweight division. Maybe somebody, but not too many people, believed it can be done. They always were talking about he's too small. But Fury other day said in the heart, somebody told him about being a big heavyweight. And he said, no matter how big you are, it's the most important how big is your heart is. I even retweeted that and I said, so stop complaining, Busek is too small. Unbeaten in 34 fights. How, how does Usyk go about beating Tyson Fury in March then? Wherever the fight is, Igus. My saying is, and a lot of people do not understand, my saying is Usyk cannot 
beat Tyson like he beat Bellew, but he will win Tyson. How much does the current situation in Ukraine drive Usyk on, Igus? It's very hard to say. This is a, I, I believe this is kind of like a very personal feelings. You know, they don't like to talk. They're doing a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. You have to be so brave to do those things like Usyk right now. He can live anywhere he wants. He can live in the United States. He can live in the UK. He can live in Spain. He can live in Dubai. Guess where he is today? He is in Kiev. He's in Ukraine. He's with his country people. And as soon as the fight is going to be announced, as soon as we're going to have a date, we're going to have a plan, and then he's going to be moving on to the training camp. That was Igor Klimas. It's as good as done, Simon. Yeah.